I'm an avid believer in you have to take care of things before they break. If you maintain your equipment, it's going to last you longer. It's not going to wear out its best. You can foresee problems coming before they happen. Uh, that's one of the major, major things I've learned from my airplane background. I worked the flight line for American Airlines with problems for a very long time. And we were troubleshooters. We had to fix what was wrong with that plane to get it flying. Plus, that's revenue. Every time the plane's on the ground, the airline loses money and they don't like that. So fix the problem and get the plane in the air without sacrificing any type of safety. Every day is something new. That's challenging. It's not mundane. You're always meeting people. You're always learning something. I also have been around at a point where most of the old people that I first started with are gone. They all retired and have a whole new generation of young building managers and engineers that are very smart and very ambitious. I really enjoy working with the young people there. They motivate you. They challenge your input. They ask good questions. So they keep you on your toes. The tenants are becoming more demanding. Too. They are very so much. makes the building management and the corporate environment much tougher. Very hard. I don't rely totally on a BMS. That was one of my old bosses' philosophy makes people lazy. With the BMS, you still have to physically go to the engine room and see everything that's happening everywhere. But it, without it today, I don't see how you could actually run a building anymore. Turns the air conditions on, turns them off, can turn your lights, escalate, you name it, it does it. It's a very good tool to help you run a building efficiently. But it's only as good as the people operating it. I'll always say that. If you don't understand how to use it properly, it's just a fancy computer. See all the laws that are coming down the pipe with this energy conservation have put a tremendous taxing, I think, on ownership to a large degree. What Richard does, for example, is very important because it's what they're forcing everybody to do by 2050. Come off of fossil fuels and go totally electric. It's a big change. Years ago, we burned number six fuel. It was like garbage. <laughs> you see big smoke coming out of the chimneys. You know, nobody cared. You keep the building at 90 degrees open a window. Nobody seemed to care if you would. Energy costs were very cheap, but it's very important to run a building efficiently, especially at the price of everything today. They want to switch everything to electric, and that to me is a major hurdle to overcome. It's going to take a lot of work from a lot of people to see this thing come to fruition, if it even does. But I think this is where a company like Utilivise is extremely important, as well as having a good understanding of every part of the electrical systems in your building. Actually, our largest building down at the seaport, I had a chance to sit down and talk to Richard and his sons, and we went ahead and we developed a plan and we started saving money pretty much right away. We changed parts of the BMS. We added some things right. to the BMS. They gave us different ideas. They monitor us constantly. So they see whenever the temperatures are rising, something seems out of whack. And they would give suggestions to the engineers and they would make them. And we go back and forth, adjust this, change that, try this, until we have the systems running properly. I would have to say most of the suggestions they have made have turned into dollars. Huh.